first off, uh, tell us why Ireland sort of changed its mind and agreed to the deal, and also what you are going to be telling these companies in America about why they should still remain in Ireland. Good morning, Brian. Uh, good to be with you. Um, yeah, the reason uh, that um, we have opted into the agreement is that we feel it's important that we participate. Uh, Ireland uh, has long believed that uh, it's important that we have a tax framework which uh, addresses the new challenges of digitalization and aggressive uh, tax planning. Obviously, we had some reservations about this deal at an earlier stage. We sought some uh, assurances and changes, particularly that the rate would be at 15 per cent. At that rate, we believe that Ireland remains uh, attractive and it also provides uh, stability now for investors, the fact that the rate is set at 15 per cent. I don't think this is going to have come as a huge surprise to the investors that we already have in Ireland. This was well flagged. Ireland has uh, participated in the uh, discussions and we had said once we received uh, certain um, uh, assurances around the 15% uh, um, that we would uh, participate. So the discussions I'll have this week uh, in the US with uh, client companies will be about all of the things that we normally discuss with the client companies about the operating environment in Ireland, the availability of talent, uh, our continued pro-enterprise policies and support for those companies in Ireland. And I believe that Ireland is going to continue to win investment uh, from right across the globe. Do you feel like the fact that these companies, you know, Apple, Facebook, we named a ton of them. I mean, we're talking to a couple of trillion dollars in global market cap. Do you feel like they are ingrained enough in Dublin, in Ireland, with the workforce, the Irish tiger, so to speak, that you can keep them there despite the fact that the playing field is now a little more level from that tax perspective, Mark? Yeah, uh, uh, undoubtedly. I mean, we are, you know, engaged with about 1,600 international uh, companies. Um, they, many of them, many of the U.S. companies have been there for uh, over uh, two decades, many of them a lot uh, longer. They've um, weathered all sorts of storms, uh, 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 global storms in Ireland, whether it's the global financial crisis, Brexit, the recent pandemic. And they've done very well in Ireland. And Ireland has supported uh, those companies uh, through all of those things. And I don't believe that their view of Ireland is going to change because of this uh, increase in our corporate uh, tax rate. Ireland fundamentally is a good place to do business. The number one discussion that we have with US companies is around the availability of talent, the ability to set up and scale up your yep. business uh, quickly, the ability to operate. And you can operate out of Ireland uh, serving a European market, which most of the companies are there to do, or an EMEA market, or indeed rest of the world outside North America. And that hasn't changed. That's going to continue to be the case. You know, we always talk about, quote, corporate taxes, Martin. There are many smart people that would argue that there's no such thing as corporate taxes. Corporations don't pay taxes. They just simply lower wages, don't give raises or raise prices on the consumers. They're not going to eat it. They're going to make their employees and their people eat it. Do you worry that even just a 2.5% raise, I mean, we're talking about companies with some of the biggest revenues in the world, that that 2.5% increase in taxes uh, could trickle down a bit negatively to, to the worker, the people you were just talking about in Dublin? Uh, I think, uh, Brian, you know, um, we, we need to see uh, economic growth. We, it is those companies that drive economic uh, growth. Those uh, companies have uh, unequivocally been positive for Ireland. Um, we started attracting foreign direct investment in the 1950s. It has utterly transformed Ireland as a place and uh, it, positively. Uh, we've seen significant economic growth, even in the midst of uh, the pandemic. It is those exporting sectors, technology, medical devices, pharmaceuticals, international financial services that grew the economy. They're providing uh, uh, jobs, really good high value jobs. Uh, and the companies that I engage with, uh, their concern all along through this process is around certainty. Uh, you know, they understand that it is countries that set tax rates. Uh, they will abide by whatever tax rates are set. The fact that we're now doing this on a global basis uh, provides a mm -hmm. framework within which to work. And uh, I believe that is positive for everyone.